Come on, buddy. It's time to do the next Data Time video. No, I'm never coming out. What? There's no point since Tom Scott's never making videos again. What? Uh, no, that, that's not true. Uh, Tom Scott is still going to continue to upload videos. He said he can't do this forever. Well, what he said was that he can't keep committing to making weekly videos on his main channel. So I think you're being a bit too hyperbolic about all this. You're being hyperbolic. Are you sure you know what that word means? Hyperbolic? Isn't that the curved lines on a graph? Sure. The point is, you're exaggerating things, and you're being far too dramatic. Me? Dramatic? You don't know what it's like to be me. I know exactly what it's like to be you. Wait, what? Look, what will it take to get you to make a video? I'll let you pick the next topic. You can even pick a topic that relates to Tom Scott. <gasps> I want to make a Tom Scott robot. What now? You know, so that we can keep making Tom Scott videos even after he's gone. Actually, Tom Scott already commissioned a robot of himself. They've been transparent about security, and they've been in the business for years. Ugh, that's creepy. Yeah. And that robot is still using Tom's real voice. Well, yeah. I want to continue to be able to make Tom Scott videos even after he's done creating videos. Oh, you mean like a deep fake? Someone already did that too. Hi, I'm not Tom Scott. What you're actually seeing is a fake version of Tom Scott that was generated using machine learning. Ugh. Oddly, that's even more creepy. Yeah, and it also requires a lot of work. Ugh. I have an idea. What if we just edited existing Tom Scott videos in order to be able to splice together his words into new sentences? Ooh, that sounds like a ton of work. Well, it's not as bad as you might think, especially given that Tom uploads transcripts for each of his videos. We should be able to build a database of all of the words ever spoken on all of Tom's videos in order to build a supercut of whatever sentence we want him to say. It's not gonna look real, but we will be using data in order to build a kind of Tom Scott robot. We'll call it the Scott bot. Whatever you want. Oh, and can we Rickroll him? Rickroll him? You know, get him to sing Rig Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up like they did for Mad Men. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run. run. And desert. Yeah. Yeah, that should be possible with this process. But enough talk, more data. It's data time. It's data time. I am data. Most of you are already familiar with Tom Scott. How do you know they're familiar with him? Because I took a poll and most of you said you found my channel from the ads that I specifically ran on Tom's videos. Looks like you're about to watch a Tom Scott video. His videos are great. Oh, right. For those of you who don't know who Tom Scott is, he makes great educational videos on YouTube about odd, intriguing things that typically deal with science, technology, or infrastructure. He started posting videos regularly in January of 2014 and has been posting at least one video a week ever since. Recently, he announced that this schedule would end in January of 2024, giving his channel a strong decade-long legacy. He's leaving us forever! No. He still has his other channels where he collaborates with other YouTubers in game shows, challenges, or other educational content. <sighs> okay, fine. But this does leave us with a substantial amount of videos, which is not only great for his legacy, but is also great for us and our Tom Scott robot. The Scott Bot. There is a ton of video content to pull from. Since January of 2014, Tom Scott has uploaded over 600 videos, equating to over 50 hours of speaking time. 50 hours of videos? 50 hours of speaking time. How do you calculate speaking time? Well, that actually brings us to the other critical ingredient of our robot, which is YouTube transcriptions. Transcriptions? Subtitles. If you watch a video on YouTube, you should see a button that lets you turn on closed captioning. On your browser, you can even select show transcript, which will open up a panel which lays out all of the words spoken in the video and at what time they're spoken. Wait, who puts in time to write down all the words in a video? YouTube actually does this for you automatically. If you go to one of my data time videos and open up the transcription view, you'll see at the very bottom that the transcription is set to English auto-generated. I'm not writing these transcriptions. YouTube is adding them automatically, which is why if you watch a data time video with closed captions, you get incorrect words and long run-on sentences with no punctuation. Hmm. That doesn't seem that useful. However, if you open up a Tom Scott video, you'll see that the transcription panel does not say auto-generated, and the subtitles are far more accurate. Someone manually created the subtitles of each of his videos? In fact, Tom Scott is quite passionate about subtitles. Oh, look at me, I bought a Lamborghini. Buy some damn subtitles. Also, should we put subtitles in our videos? 
I've been meaning to look into it. But these subtitles make our solution far more feasible. If I can download all of the transcripts for every single Tom Scott video, I could in essence build a database of every word ever spoken on Tom's channel. As long as I know the video ID and the time index of each caption, I should be able to download that video and cut that particular segment into my editor. That still sounds like a lot of work to download all of these captions and videos and cut them together. Well, I can automate most of this work. Using the YouTube Developer API, I can search for all videos in a given YouTube channel. Every video has an ID, and once I get that ID, I can download the transcription for that video as a JSON file that I can then parse. The JSON file provides a series of cues, each containing the text of what's being spoken, along with its start time and duration. From this data, I now have enough information to build my database of every word ever spoken in a Tom Scott video. If I then download each YouTube video by its video ID and save that as well as the transcripts, I now have enough information to build a rough cut of whatever Whatever words I want from Tom's videos. What do you mean by rough cut? I'll show you an example. Let's say that I want to find all of the instances where the word data is spoken in Tom Scott videos. For simplicity, I'm limiting my search to just videos that were published in 2022. The database found several instances that match my criteria and produce a JavaScript file, which I have customized to work with my Adobe Premiere editor using Adobe's Extend Script toolkit. What's that? It's Adobe's way of letting software developers remotely control their own editing timeline. So basically, it allows me to procedurally build a cut of desired clips rather than having to manually cut them together. Once I execute the script, Premiere cuts my clips together in the timeline, making sure to import the video files into my project bin. Here's what that rough cut looks like. The idea of remembering everything and storing that data forever with corporations. It is coordinating globally, contributing data from multiple atomic clocks and all the data showed that in all three dimensions... They take the data from the clocks around the globe. Wait, you said this would show Tom Scott saying the word data. These clips have a lot of other words too. And some of these clips don't even have Tom speaking. Right. I said we could find all instances of the word data spoken in Tom Scott's video. I did not say we could just find Tom's words. This is why this is a rough cut. The system knows every instance of the word data being spoken, but it has no idea who is actually saying it. Since in many of Tom's videos, he interviews other people, their words also get transcribed, and unfortunately, the transcript doesn't specify who is speaking. Also, since the transcript provides captions as phrases or sentences, the system can't actually pinpoint individual words in the cut. So it just provides me with the entire phrase spoken. So this process is definitely not automatic. I still have to go through and cut together the best candidates that I want to use. Sometimes Tom is talking in a loud room and we can't hear him very well. Sometimes he's talking off camera and we can't see him. Sometimes Tom isn't even the one talking in a clip. I have to go through each clip and pick the one that works the best. So then this isn't really a robot that builds sentences for you. No, not entirely. However, this is still really helpful. I mean, if I didn't have this, I would have to spend hours combing through Tom's videos looking for just one example of him saying a word. This process definitely reduces the amount of time needed to edit sentences together. Well, that doesn't sound as interesting. Well, this process makes it a lot easier for me to produce cuts like this. Hello, this is not real. I'm Tom Scott. This is a simulation written by some code created by Data Time. So there's your Scott bot. And to be clear, this process isn't specific to Tom. Any YouTuber who has high quality transcriptions along with a large number of videos where they are speaking to the camera will work with this process. My code is pretty hacky because I just wanted to get a proof of concept, but I'll leave a link to it for folks who want to use it as reference to build their own robots. So this isn't really a deep fake, it's more of a shallow fake. Sure. And you can rickroll them? You mean make them sing that song? Yeah, that's totally doable too. As long as Tom has said each word in the lyrics at some point in the last 10 years of his videos, we can take his words and resequence them however we want. Wait, so is Tom gonna get upset at us for twisting his words and making him sound silly? Well, that'd be awfully hypocritical considering the pranks he's pulled in his career. Pranks? Tom Scott developed an app that tracked British Parliament members who modified their own Wikipedia pages. Then he published those changes online. Really? Yeah. He also made a parody of the British government's emergency preparedness website. And when the government asked him to take it down, he said no. Huh? Also, he ran for parliament as the pirate Mad Captain Tom Scott because he lost a bet. And yes, this is a real thing that happened. Did he win the election? Uh, no. But he did dress up like a pirate for the election. So I doubt he can justify any criticism about our wholesome little project. And if Tom still doesn't like it, I'll appeal to his linguistics background. This process can be used to analyze speech patterns. Speech patterns? My database doesn't just track individual words. 
it can track phrases. So, for example, did you ever wonder what the longest phrase Tom Scott says repeatedly in his videos? No, I've never wondered that, but now I feel like I need to know. In front of me I've got an article from Wikipedia and these folks can't see it. Every fact they get right is a point and a ding. And the special prize for particularly good answers, which is... In front of me I've got an article from Wikipedia and these folks can't see it. Every fact they get right is a point and a ding. In front of me I've got an article from Wikipedia and these folks can't see it. That's not the same clip shown on repeat. That's Tom saying exactly the same phrase verbatim across multiple videos. Well, that doesn't count. That's the opening to a game show he's hosting. Yeah? That's not like a natural phrase he says repeatedly. Do you want to know a common phrase he says more frequently than most any other phrase spoken by him? Yeah. Thank you very much. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much, Tom, for making these great videos for so long. If any Tom Scott viewers are watching this, please let him know this video exists and maybe we'll even get on his Twitter feed or weekly newsletter. Wait, was all this just a cheap publicity stunt? No, this was definitely not cheap. And with that, I give you what you've all been waiting for. Tom Scott singing, never gonna give you up, sort of. Engage the Scott bot. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run, run, run around and desert you. Never going to make you cry. Never going to say goodbye. Never going to tell a lie and uh, hurt you. <laughs>